Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be real quick. We're going to jump right into it because uh, if I'm going to be completely honest, I want to watch the Warriors game in 30 minutes. All right, well, actually, before we jump into the editing bay, I just really want to emphasize that this is the way that I edit. It's not like the law of the land. You could do whatever the heck you want at the end of the day. But also, like, it really does matter more about your composition and whatever you put into frame because you can't edit a crappy photo by just smacking on like an edit and, you know, hoping for the best that it'll change some bad composition into a good photo. You have to really consider like what you're putting in front of your camera because it doesn't matter if you're shooting with a 45 megapixel camera with the latest sensor. If you're not composing a right photo or putting the right things in it, then it's, it's gonna be bad no matter which way you edit it. So just wanna say that first and foremost, the minimalistic compositions come down to the compositions and the edit and the color palette comes secondary or tertiary. So without further ado, let's jump into the editing bay. All right, so we have our first photo right here, which is just a picture of the sand dunes at Ocean Beach with this uh, kind of a barricade that's buried by the sand. So right here already, we have a nice minimalistic composition. We have the sand dunes uh, as one element, the sky is another element. I guess that like mound of like ice plants over there as another element. You see this like concrete foreground. We're already going to start cropping that out because that's too much going on. That will be a fourth element. Sweet spot is always three. So that's good. We're going to get rid of that bottle in the bottom left corner. But uh, the way that I start is uh, I'm going to see if just bumping up the exposure would uh, get rid of um, a lot of colors that I don't want. So right here, just brightened up. It's already looking pretty good. I'm not looking for any like crazy edit because for minimalistic stuff, you don't want to go too crazy. So just bumping up the exposure starts to eliminate some of the dirtiness of the sand. So we will keep it right around here. 0.7. Um, I like to have softer texture, especially in sand. So clarity will go down negative 12. Texture will go down to negative 10. And this is like where the magic happens. This is like where I keep referring to flatten the light, guys. Flatten the light. So with the S curve right here, that's where all the magic happens. So I'm going to put a middle point right there. And uh, if you guys don't know what this does, um, if you see like this uh, whole grid right here, the histogram is shown behind it if you have the latest version of Lightroom. And uh, all the values are like up in the highlight uh, area because this photo is very bright. So if you make another anchor point where the highlights are, if you crank that up, then you'll see like what happens. And then if you put that back or just control Z, yeah, so that all goes away. So down here in the bottom left corner, that's where you like start to manipulate your shadows. You can like raise the black point to like um, have like a more faded look in the shadows. Um, but obviously like if I like do anything like up and down here, like nothing's really happening too much in the shadows, but it's getting brighter because it's bending the highlight part up. So we're not going to have to deal with that. And so I'm going to start off right here. I'm going to raise up the highlights just a little bit to brighten it up again. And this is the part where I mean flatten the light. Grab the bottom, I mean top right corner, bring it down, and this is when it starts to like flatten out everything. It's bringing the white point down essentially. That's what it's called. So when you bring the white point down, it starts to clip highlights. And by clipping the highlights, it actually like softens the hell out of it and makes it look a lot more flat. It gets rid of a lot of depth in the highlights. So that's really good. We're already off to a pretty good start. This is the before. This is the after. It's already looking pretty good. I kind of want to bring back some of the yellow. I think right here is good. Yeah, right there is fine. Luminance is like uh, controlling the brightness of the color channel. So kind of want to brighten up the yellows. Leave the orange kind of like right there. Yeah, that's looking pretty good so far. The greens over here are kind of distracting. I don't really want that color to be present. So I'm just going to desaturate the green. And to desaturate it even further, I'm going to up the exposure of it through the luminance channel, for the green channel at least. And then I don't need to sharpen. Noise reduction will also smoothen it too, so that's usually what I do. I bring the luminance up to 28, detail to 82. So now we're going to get rid of that bottle in the bottom left corner because it's kind of distracting. So with the spot correction, I'm just going to increase my brush size to the size of the bottle. Boom, and it's gone. So now we have a nice, soft really minimalistic composition not much going on but it's a nice peaceful scene that's good with me so before and after before and after looks pretty good like that's that's like a super simple edit for a minimalistic type thing and you guys could probably like slap on this like editing setting for uh some of the minimalistic compositions that you guys have and you'll be on your way easily 
Okay, if you have never seen this photo before, you should click on the link over here uh, because this was a fantastic portrait session with my friend Jibby and we shot it in her house with the Mamiya RZ67. I think that was my first shoot with it. And uh, this was on the Fuji Pro 400H. All these photos that I'm editing are filmed to like kind of show that it doesn't always have to be like a crazy raw file and that you should stick within like a very minimal edit. Um, but we're going to start cropping a little bit right here to straighten out the lines. You see that plant in the, like the left corner? Kind of want that out of there, it's not important. So now we got a nice clean area to work with. This film stock was uh, exposed incorrectly, so we, have a, we might have a little bit more to work with. So let's start by bringing down the shadows just a little bit. Um, there we go, to have a nice contrast, eliminate shadows in the detail, or details in the shadows. Uh, clarity down, texture down, exposure up. Already looking pretty clean. We want those white walls to be flattened out more. So again, center point. Uh, another point in the highlights. Let's bring up the highlights. Yum, 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 yum. Bring down the white point. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, very good so far. Uh, but it's a little bit too blown out a little bit. So I'm going to bring the highlights slider down just a little bit right here hopefully i'm not going too fast but if i am you could always rewind it beauty of youtube there's a little bit of yellowness going on so i'll desaturate that furthermore of that so i want to bring out the color of her skin tone more so that that's like kind of like the more hero uh color in this thing so that something is popping it was like the minimalist composition with a pop color that's good bring up the saturation a little bit more looking pretty good looking pretty good yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this. It's a nice contrasty type photo, but the minimalist palette is there. So you might be thinking, Chris, these photos are already like just plain beach photos and like photos with like hardly any color in it, which proves my point that it matters more about the composition, how you set up the photo than it is about the edit. The edit is secondary, tertiary. It kind of like, is the cherry on top you can't make the cherry on top the actual like entree of the photo so that's kind of like the point that i'm trying to drive home but um yeah i hope you guys uh, enjoy these edits these are super simple again not like as complex as like my other edits uh because i'm going to be saving those for the preset pack that's coming out i'm still working on it guys hopefully you guys learned a thing or two about editing the tone curve is probably like the hardest part about um editing there is because there is a learning curve no pun intended and split toning would be like the second thing that would be the hardest part but um don't forget to thumbs up this video uh leave a comment down below about what you thought about this video and also subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video <gasps> peace